Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to News with Nick. This is October 1st, 2024. And I've been thinking about this topic for a while, and I've been wondering, how am I going to address this issue? How am I going to look at this issue and address this issue without trying to tip you on the issue to make you want to see it the way I see it? and not influence you and that's hard because that's what happens through normal media outlets whether it's the main tv stations or whether what podcast you watch that they do that but what i want to encourage you all to do is get out and vote and a lot of my videos you hear me use the word the three s's supplement support and strengthen so regardless who you vote for Who's going to supplement, support, and strengthen you, your community, and this country the best based on your filters and lenses that you've seen things and have set in motion your life because of things you've gone through, things you've seen, things you have experienced. Those are the things that influence us. But what I'm challenging you to do right now, this is what I'm challenging you to do. Write down three to five issues that you think have the most impact. Some might, like I was doing this and I, and I wrote down lower gas, lower groceries. That could be the same issue. And if you're thinking at it one way, or it could be two different issues. Um, a fair wage. Health benefits. Um actual vacation time and sick time. Now, everybody doesn't always get that based on where you live. New York requires it, and I won't get into that. Where Pennsylvania, it's not the same. So, and I have friends and family that live and work in both areas. So write down three to five issues. Then what I want you to do is look up the two candidates that are running. And look at their top three to five issues they're going to say they're going to address right away or while they're in office. And see how they align with your issues. Again, don't make a decision yet because you really don't have all the information yet. Then you take those issues and you say, how are you going to implement those issues? And then... Look at those issues and see if they still apply to what you think affects you in your situation the most. And probably the most important part of it is how are they going to fund it? And what kind of impact that's going to have on me? Pick your issues. How's it going to be implemented? And how are they going to fund it? Three things. How is that going to supplement, support, and strengthen your household? How is that going to supplement, support, and strengthen your family? How is that going to supplement, support, and strengthen your community? Those are big questions. And do the research. And I could sit here and I could throw up a little thing in the corner of my screen and give you data and that and some videos in the future I will because I've figured out a bunch of this program but this particular issue I don't want to influence you I want you to do the research I think if you do the research you're going to be more informed you're going to be more intent to believe what you see instead of someone telling you so do those things write down three to five how's it going to be implemented How's it going to be funded? Are those things aligned with you? And are they going to supplement, support, and strengthen your household, your family, your community, your city? Then go out and vote. That's what I say. Then you're educated. I say get off all those news channels that are feeding you junk and garbage this time and do your research now you're going to have to get on some of those 
news channels and and look at old videos and different podcasts and and look at some data you might have to research and pull do your best and then go out and vote your conscience don't vote because this person looks like this and I look like that don't vote because well this person's been convicted of a lot of things we really don't know the outcome yet because it's all an appeal don't vote because one party is bickering so bad about another party that it's influencing you. It's about the issues. How's it going to impact your life? Yes. How's it going to impact your family? How's it going to impact your community? How's it going to impact your city? How's it going to supplement, support, and strengthen you, your family, your community, your city? That's who you should vote for. We get so locked up in this country as saying, I'm a, a Democrat, I'm a Republican, I'm an Independent. No, we're American citizens. What best supports what's going to affect you? Supplement, support, and strengthen you, your family, your community, in your city. And then vote your conscience. This is News with Nick. I hope I didn't lean you any one direction because that's not what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to lean you to educate yourself. Put in the legwork. I've got good friends that I disagree with on their belief system, but I don't sit there and fight with them. I don't even sit there and debate with them because I don't want to argue with them because that's not what we're called to do. That doesn't supplement, support, and strengthen me, my family, my community, and my city. Because I, I may not get along with everybody. But in one way or another, they may supplement, support, or strengthen me, my family, my community, and my city. Get out and vote. This is News with Nick. Just remember, I love you because Jesus loves me.